Oh, greetings fellow geocacher. This is Waypoints, your geocaching tips, views, and interviews for everything about geocaching. In this video, we're gonna take a good look at updating coordinates. And if you're watching carefully, you just might find a trackable code somewhere within this video. But you know what? Now that I've got my geocache placed, and I've gotten new coordinates with some aid of my handy dandy little GPS unit, time to head home because it's a little bit chilly out here so let's go back to the computer and get those updated okay now that we're back inside and out of that chilly weather let's go have a look at the geocaching.com webpage to see how we can update the coordinates on our geocache so I've opened a browser here I'm going to use Chrome for this example but you know you can use Firefox Internet Explorer Edge or any other available browser and I'm going to put into Google, I'm going to look at geocaching.com. So let's just type that in. As you can see, I've already entered it once before, but geocaching. And I do a search for that. Should be the first hit that we get. And once we get to the geocaching webpage, we're going to need to sign in if we haven't already done so. Right up here near the top right hand corner, you can log in to go see your own account. So once we click on that, we are brought to a page that looks like this. We have to type in our username if it's not already there and our password and then click on sign in. And once that page is loaded, so this is the main first page of a geocaching website once we've logged into our account. To get to our own geocaches, we need to go look at our dashboard. And for the purposes of this example, I'm only going to be using the latest dashboard version. If you're still on the old profile version, you may want to consider switching over and getting used to the new style, which you'll be able to see on the next screen. From this new dashboard, you can see all the things that you've looked at recently, as well as what your friends have done under their latest activity as well. To get to the geocache that you probably want to update, we're going to start by clicking on the View Profile button right here. And that will take us to our own page that talks about all the different settings that we have, all the geocaches that we've owned, found, trackables, souvenirs, and all of that. We're just going to scroll down the page just slightly to this area where you have about seven tabs. And we're going to pick the Geocaches tab. And once that opens, it shows all of the things that you've found and all of the things that you own. So in this case, I'm going to go update one of my traditional caches to some new coordinates. The cache that I'm going to update is my what's in the box cache, GC7E7RJ. So by clicking on that, we're brought to the cache page. You can see the current coordinates of the geocache right here. And beside it, there's a little pencil. Now you might be thinking that this is how we update our coordinates, but actually, no, we're gonna show you what the purpose of that is a little bit later. That is not for updating coordinates for the geocache that you've placed. To do that, we need to go over to log geocache. So clicking on that will give us a new page where we can have some activities. So in here, we have a drop-down menu, and from that, we have several different choices. And the one that we want is this bottom one here, update coordinates. So when we click on that, we're given a box where we can actually put our new coordinates in. So I've only moved it a little bit south, so our new coordinates are actually 66, and I had to move it east a little bit as well to 81. And since I should explain why I'm moving it, um, I just had to, you know, uh, area was flooded, moved upstream, and because I was there and I did some maintenance, I actually dropped in a geocoin, and we're going to get the uh, information from that. So that was uh, added geocoin. And the code, just because I'm trying to, you know, promote my site a little bit, is OCM and uh, 1D 
f. So if you happen to be paying close attention, that would be what you want to log to show that you've watched this video. Thanks very much for following the channel, by the way. So once I've done that, I can go down to the bottom and hit post. And what this will do is it will refresh the page and take me back and show the new settings of where I actually have updated the coordinates. The same information will get sent to a volunteer reviewer because they have to double check that the move that you've made is actually okay for proximity reasons or if there might have been a, a permit that's required for the area just to make sure that everything is in compliance. So don't be surprised if something does pop up and a reviewer gets in touch with you just to double check what's going on. But for the most part, as long as you, you're not getting too close to another geocache, you're probably going to be okay. Now we spoke about that little pencil before and what that does is it actually updates the coordinates but only for your eyes, not for anybody else. So if you click on it, you can actually type in your own set of coordinates. Now on a traditional cache, this really isn't all that useful, but if you were solving a puzzle cache and you came up with a new solution, you could put that information in right here and then when you click submit, it will record it but only for you. Nobody else will see any of the changes that, that you've made, but when you do a download of a pocket query or when you have a, a puzzle that you've solved the solution of and recorded it here, if you're using a geocaching app on your smartphone, that information will actually show up there so that you are able to go to the correct location instead. But again, I have to point out that clicking on this pencil and putting in new coordinates will not update the coordinates on the geocaching site for everybody. It will only be for your eyes and nothing else. Okay, that brings us to the end of this episode of Waypoints. Were you able to find that hidden trackable code? Here's a hint. Have a look on the cache page. If you've enjoyed this video and think it's of value, please click on the like button. And if you want to be updated when new videos come out, please subscribe and then click on the notification bell. It would really help out the channel. Please feel free to share this with your friends on social media so we can get the word out and help other people be able to update their waypoints and coordinates accurately. Thanks so much. I've been Colin for Waypoints and we'll see you on the next video.